Hi friends, let's play bridge like a pro. The hand we have today for analysis is a very interesting one where my friend Jay is playing south uh, with his partner Sharath and I'm playing east with my partner Srini. And the bidding goes like this. East is the dealer and I pass. Jay bids one club. One club is 12 to 21 high card points and three plus cards in clubs. Srini passes and North bids one diamond. One diamond is six plus high card points, minimum four cards in diamonds. On my pass, J bids one heart, indicating a 12 to 15 points with a minimum four cards in hearts. So Srini passes, Sharat says two spade. He calls two spade with a 16 plus high card points indication with a minimum four cards in spade. With my pass, J picks up two no trump, indicating a minimum hand with a no confirmed fit for partner suits. If you notice, partner bid oh, diamond and a spade and J bids two no trump, stating that he has no fit for his suits. So fit is defined as eight cards in a suit. When West passes, North goes to four no trump, which is a key card Blackwood that they're playing. And J responds with a five diamond, saying 41. In this case, indicating our one key card. Now, Interesting, Sharath bids six club, closing the bidding. Now six club indicates in this case definitely that apart from the diamonds and spades, Sharath has a holding uh, clubs. Now, as you can see, Srini, the West leads diamond three. If you are sitting in South, what is your game plan. I have Jay with me today. I'm going to ask Jay, but before that, pause the video, think for a second how you're going to play, and then resume. All right, let's play now. Hi, Jay. Hi, Koti. How are things? Hey, so very interesting hand with the Diamond 3 lead from West, what is going through your mind? Forty, I will put two riders. In case I was having three cards in club only and not a four carder, as per our system, I would have gone to six no trump. That is the first point I would like to clarify. In Interesting. Second point is now this diamond three lead shows two, three things. You know, first it shows that. Shrini has taken a defensive lead. He has taken a defensive lead by leading into the strongest of the double, as far as his thinking is. That is one point. But my point, what I thought, why did he not go with a club lead? Oh, as I, if I analyze my hand, rest of the cards I'm not bothered. I'm only bothered that I should not concede two tricks in clubs. Right now, my only concern is why did Srini not lead a club? Even, see, he could have also awarding club, in which case you, Koti, would have doubled my contract uh, sitting in East. Now, let's analyze it in total. So, it obviously he has got two or three cards in clubs. Now, what would those, those cards be? I took the presumption which fortunately turned out right, that he has led holding ace, jack, x in club. For that to succeed, I have to take the jack in ace, jack of clubs, otherwise the contract is doomed. That's interesting, Jay. So on diamond three, you win with the diamond queen and you played the low club 
taking the finesse for the jack and you win the trick and uh, so you make the contract very interesting now did you guys come up with a similar plan reading the lead is very important in bridge card play and jay did it right this time the full deal looks like the following now placing that jack of clubs is the key and jay did it right congratulations jay thank you thank you if you guys like this video please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you